Oliva, Series G. <sighs> Inner Busto. And yes, there's snow in the background. Hey everybody, I'm Abel Kay, and this is Scar Vlog. So, yeah, it is a wonderful way, what is it, a wonderful day of 25 fucking degrees. So I decided to do something short and sweet because this is going to suck. The day, not the cigar. This is Oliva, normal brand, relatively decent blend, I hope. I'm gonna go ahead and spark this up. I've already pre-punched it. I have a word about that in a second. But holy crap, it is cold out here. All right, so far, so good. Very smooth, clean tobacco. Kind of sound a kind of tone. Pretty good start so far. As you can see, short, sweet. It seems to be box pressed. Well, obviously it is because it's square. This is one of the uh, few leaves that you actually will find like this. Most of them are perfectly round. The nice thing about box pressing is it uh, tends to keep it from rolling off the table. The right of your sitting at a table. Instead of freezing your butts off, your butt off out of here. God damn, this is just messing with my speech today. <coughs> anyway, mostly you find these around because, well, box pressing is more of an ad thing. Overall, though, pleasant, sweet, little cedar, excellent start. Go back to you after an inch. Hopefully, my fingers won't break off. All right, pretty decent ways in. So far, the overall flavors are very nice cedar note. Very cedary, slightly sweet, slightly spicy. Kind of reminds me of maybe a slightly spicier punch. Uh, if you've ever had like a punch watch child. Ooh. So far, the construction of these has always been great, and uh, we'll see if this one holds true to that. Yeah. yeah. So, funny thing, for the last like three days, it's been kind of cloudy, overcast. Yesterday was an absolutely gorgeous day. Today turns into an absolute frozen nightmare. If there's anything that I hate, it's a bright sunny day and bone chilling cold. Case in point, it is 25 degrees. Why am I out here in a 25 degree day? Easy, because I have nothing better to do. Go figure. I gotta get a really good pieces. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this down to the halfway point, and hopefully I'll actually be able to form words because my face is getting a little stiff from the cold. Yeesh. All right, see you at the halfway point. Well, I'd say it pretty much crayon says the halfway point. The ash is desperately hanging on. I'm pretty sure if I sneeze or just like blink too hard, uh, that's gonna go flying. So far though, flavors in both the retrohale and the mouth have been uh, very cedary. Slightly sweet, slightly spicy. I've also noticed a weird dryness in the mouth, which is kind of interesting. I don't usually find too many cigars that do that, but every so often you find the one oddball that can. Well, you should do in depth, weirdly enough. As far as the 25 degree day goes, I found that if you stand in the right spot, in the right hole, in the right bridge without any wind, it's not that bad ish. Anyway, I was going to make a note earlier about the fact that I went ahead and punch cut it. And I don't know if you can see this or not, because I'm not too sure if the camera's actually focusing on it, because I kinda can't see the screen. Anyway, uh, you have to be careful using punch cutters, because as you can see, punch cutters rely on pressure, and pressure can crack the cap. And if that happens, and uh, you get a little bit of a uh, slightly precarious scenario of, on the light end, having an annoyance of a piece of tobacco stuck to your lip. On the deep end, the whole thing just completely starting to unravel because you completely busted the shit out of it. I had to do I had to take the band off because I was kind of running out of cigar. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, that, bit, that the construction is definitely top notch because that ash is just hanging off for dear life. 
Yep, there it goes. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this down in the nub and give one final update. So far, I can pretty effectively say that uh, any decent whiskey would go with it as a decent pairing with this. Uh, light teas, I would think. Basically, anything you would have with a punch. Because it's kind of, so far, reminding me of kind of like, you know, almost, almost just like a, an offshoot of a punch, really. It's kind of got that kind of Rothschild vibe going to it. Just a little a little different, so if you're a fan of punch and you're looking for something a little different, you know, this would be a good start. Anyway, let's look at this down in the nub. Let's see if I can actually get my fall off my thumb so I can stop the camera. Yeah, 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 that's kind of there. There we go. Ah, got it. All right, that's enough. All right, I figured this is about as close as I'm gonna get to the before I burn my fingers off. That and the flavor's starting to go. So, flavors are pretty consistent all the way through, of being basically light cedar, a little touch of sweet, and a little spice. Uh, not to mention a little subtle earthiness and. A weird kind of dryness to it. This is definitely a cigar that demands a drink. Be it straight whiskey or your favorite whiskey cocktail. It's definitely got a very whiskey-ish vibe to it for me. Uh, I could probably recommend like a peaty scotch or something like that. As a contrast. Coffees, mm, well, not so much. <sighs> that was a breeze I didn't need. I just blew straight up my sleeve. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway. <sighs> so far, so good been uh, definitely a very nice cigar. If you're looking for, say, a punch alternative, or if you're just tired of punch and want to try something a little different but still in the ballpark, this would definitely be right up your alley. Beyond that, oh, do not smoke these on a 25 degree day. In fact, do not do anything on a 25 degree day. Stay home, curl up in a blanket, watch a movie, play a game, hang out with your wife, do something, whatever. I don't care, just Here's what you get that one breeze, it just goes right in the wrong place. Oh my. No, no. Cold. Very cold. Very cold. Beyond that, it's not really cigar related. It was 60 degrees yesterday and it's like 25 today. What the hell? That's Colorado for you. Alright, random rant aside. Definitely worth the money. Uh, these, I think, are price-wise comparable to a punch. Um, there are going to be more expensive, probably less expensive versions. You probably get these in various uh, sampler packs, etc. But overall, definitely worth the money. A good cigar. <sighs> Alright, if you like this video or any other video, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. <sighs> Let me know if you've ever lost any fingers because you were stupid enough to go out on a 25 degree day. Anyway, that's all I got. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, with a less obnoxiously sunny, bone-chilling cold day.